I know that it's wrong. I want to have fun. Mmm, yeah, mmm, yeah. Hey guys, we've got new stuff for winter. Okay, I have a confession to make. I made a mistake. I completely underestimated winter in Shenzhen. I thought it was always gonna be like summer. Fifteen degrees. That's so warm. Yeah, except I don't get to blast my heat at home at twenty-five degrees. I did not bring any of my chunky sweaters or even sweatshirts. I barely brought any coats. Well, not that I have space for them in my suitcase anyway. So I had to rebuy a lot of the stuff, which goes against my minimalistic tendencies. But it had to be done. I've been collecting these items since I came back to China. This is the most new stuff you ever see from me in one video. If you're tired of seeing me wearing the same shit, well, this is the video for you. Enjoy it while it lasts. The first new item is what I'm wearing right now. It's a sweater from Arquette. Yes, I'm aware this is a somewhat popular sweater at the moment, and I usually don't jump on trends, but it's black and white and striped. It just looks like my sweater, okay? And since I'm a material geek, this sweater is made of 68% wool, which has been certified by the Responsible Wool Standard, and 32% cotton, which is pesticide-free. The second new item is this half-zip gray wool sweater from Closed. I know, a gray sweater? That's a new color. I've never seen that before. Okay, I decided to try something new since I had to get new stuff anyway, and I finally mustered the courage to get something that's not black or white. I bought this on Farfetch. I finally learned how to use these retail platforms to shop from overseas. This sweater is from their Conscious Edit. It's made of 100% Italian wool. You know I have a thing for that. The third new item is this half-zip black wool sweater from Everlane. Oh, you can't see it? Well, only smart people can see it. Okay, I can't see it either. It'll probably arrive in two months. Dear Evelyn, why do you have to leave the Chinese market as soon as I come back to China? It's like, I want to love you, but you're making it really hard for me to love you. Yeah, about that. Everlane just emailed me back telling me my sweater may have been lost in transit, so they just did a refund for me. Is it Mercury retrograde? Next, this new bag is from Olieda. My friend, who's also an influencer, introduced me to this brand. I like this bag so much, I decided to work with them in this video. Olieda is a new kid on the block, but it's already gotten endorsement from people like May Musk. Yes, the mother of my boy Elon Musk. <laughs> This large size wavy bag is perfect for the sophisticated professional women. You can wear it in so many ways. My favorite way is to wear it as a backpack. I mean, just look at it. This is probably the coolest backpack I've ever seen. You can dress it up or down. This is like my dream backpack. And on the days you're not wearing it as a backpack, you can wear it crossbody on one shoulder, or simply carry it as a handbag. And when you're traveling, you can even strap it on your suitcase and use it as a little carry-on. The inside of the bag is really spacious too. You can stuff everything in it. There's a separate slot that could fit a 13-inch laptop. I usually just put my iPad in it. It comes in many different colors. Well, of course I chose black. Duh. I've also got a medium-sized marina bag here from Olieda, which is not black. What? This bag also comes in many colors. This is one of the newer colors, latte. And yes, you can wear it many ways too. Crossbody, on one shoulder, or carry it. Although this is a smaller bag, it's still pretty spacious inside. It can fit a smaller iPad, which I don't have, so I'm just gonna replace it with a Kindle. I can also stuff my umbrella and a little tripod in there. It comes with a matching pouch for your knickknacks. There are also some side slots that can hold your credit card or metro card. It's pretty handy. Oliana also advocates for slow fashion. Both the Wavia bag and the Marina bag are made of 100% premium leather from Italy. It's resistant to water, dirt, and scratches. They want you to take care of your bags. Now they're also working on some newer bags that are made of recycled leather, which is part of their ongoing effort to be more eco-friendly. Olieda has a handbag recycling program. When you're done with the bag, you can return it to Olieda for recycling, and you get a coupon for that, which is pretty sweet. Okay, next up is a black sweatshirt. What a surprise. You know what I miss the most as soon as it started getting chilly? A good old sweatshirt. It's like the ex you know you're not supposed to get back with, 
but it brings you familiarity and comfort. Still won't get back with my EXO, but I'll always get back with my sweatshirt. A new sweatshirt. This sweatshirt is from Lululemon. It kind of looks like the old one I had in Canada, but it's a sweatshirt. They all look the same. What do you expect? The only thing you can expect from me is having the exact same sweatshirt in white. This is also a new sweatshirt I got from Lululemon. Whenever I'm not wearing my black sweatshirt, you can bet I'm wearing my white sweatshirt. Some people say you never run into influencers on the street. Well, I don't know about other influencers, but if you run into me, this is what I'm gonna be wearing. Call it the influencer of duty look. These black flared leggings are also from Lululemon. They are so in demand, I couldn't even get them on their Taobao store. I had to go on Xianyu and bought them off of someone who could get them for me from Lululemon in Canada. They're probably back in stock in China now, but it wasn't easy for me when I got them. I guess you like something more when it's hard to get. I put so much effort into finding these leggings that I'm just head over heels in love with them. These are probably my favorite pants at the moment. Okay, life update. I've been working out three times a week, just like how I used to be. The only difference is I've got no more fucks to give. I pretty much just live in leggings now. And that means I need more leggings, black only. These leggings are also from Lululemon. Lululemon should probably consider paying me at this point. Hello, Lululemon. Well, these are just your regular black leggings. I have the exact same pairs that I rotate between different days. I would literally just work at a coffee shop wearing these with my black or white sweatshirt. This is how little fucks I give now. All right, I do have something fancy. I got this black leather coat from Nexico. Actually, my mom bought this coat for me. I was walking around the mall trying to pick out some outfits for her because she doesn't know how to dress herself. And as she was trying on different outfits, which honestly felt like forever, I spotted this coat, tried it on, and wouldn't take it off. When my mom came out of the dressing room, she saw me standing there with this coat on, so she had to buy it for me. My mom is like my first personal shopping client, and I got paid in coat. I've also got this herringbone wool coat here. I bought this coat when I first learned how to use Zhi'er, a secondhand shopping app. I saw this coat on the app right before I went to bed, and it literally showed up in my dream. Like I'm not even kidding. This is literally a dream coat. I woke up in the middle of my dream and bought it. This coat is from In Trend by Max Mara. It's kind of like an outlet for Max Mara. I've been searching for a herringbone coat like this for a while, so I've gotta grab it when I see it. It's the one and only after all, and nobody is taking it from me. I got these leather boots from another secondhand shopping app, Hongbuling. I've also been searching for these boots for a while. These are from uh, this German brand called And the And the Mueller Meester. I don't know how to pronounce it, okay? These boots look super cool, but I've got to tell you they're not as comfortable as I thought. Wearing them kind of feels like wearing a pair of heavy rain boots, but way more expensive. Good thing I bought them secondhand. The last thing on the list are these bad sneakers from Pinkle. Some of you may have seen them in my Shanghai Fashion Week video. I also got these secondhand on Hongbuling. I have this bad habit of searching for secondhand items right before bed. I couldn't fall asleep that night, and the only way I could fall asleep was buying these sneakers. So there you go. It was a good buy though. These sneakers are so comfortable. I wear them everywhere. I always thought that sneakers were stupid, but they're growing on me. Okay, so we got some new stuff for winter. Cool. But I know what you're thinking. Hey, it's already December. Where's your winter capsule wardrobe? I hear you. I hear you. It's coming up next week. So keep your pants on and I'll see you soon. Bye. The third new item is this half zip black. The third new item is this half The third new Okay. <laughs> I need to calm. <laughs> I need to calm down. <laughs>